I feel like this one might not be too bad. Hey guys. So in today's video, we are gonna be stepping away a little bit from our traditional flat jigsaw puzzles and kind of taking a little trip back into the realms of 3D puzzling and to France. Hit that like button if you're a fan of 3D puzzles. And let me know down below what sets have you completed and what other brands have you tried. And this 3D puzzle is of Notre Dame. It is 128 pieces and it is 14 by 7 by 9.4 inches when it's completed. And this puzzle was also sent to me by the company Cubic Fund. And this is from their National Geographic series. The back of the box does provide you a little quick snippet of what the assembly steps are like and some other products from this series. I kind of feel like with this puzzle, now that I kind of have a taste of the experience with my first one, I feel like this one might not be too bad. Now, like my Neuschwanstein Castle set, this Notre Dame model does come with a book. It does not require tools and there's no gluing. And it does actually give you an average completion time for this set. So that'll be interesting. I kind of want to compare my actual time to this and see if it's correct. Now, one of the reasons why I chose the Notre Dame Paris set was because, well, for one, I would love to go to Paris. And a big highlight for me would be to see Notre Dame. And of course, you know it's going to give me some kind of Disney vibe because, you know, the Hunchback of Notre Dame movie from Disney. And of course, I got to give kudos to the original novel by Victor Hugo, which if you haven't read that book, you need to read that book. It's absolutely amazing. But anyways, this building is absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at this architecture. I think this model is going to look fantastic, but I mean, I can only imagine what the actual building must look like. I would just totally plan to sit inside for hours with a cup of coffee, you know, as long as drinks are allowed, and just take it all in. Definitely a bucket list item for me. Now, in terms of completion process for this set, now that I kind of have that prior experience with my Neuschwanstein Castle set, I kind of feel like this is not going to feel as intimidating. And really, it shouldn't because I believe this has less pieces than that set. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like this model is going to have a lot of little tiny pieces. But the initial setup of it itself looks a little bit more straightforward. And this one does not have LED lights, so that's like kind of a whole step that I don't need to kind of stress and worry about even though it looked fantastic on the castle but you know I don't mind having a little break from that and kind of just focusing on the whole process of bending and folding and putting these pieces together I'm gonna be honest as challenging as it was and really it was only a challenge because it was my first time ever doing it Completing that castle was so exciting and kind of fulfilling and because, you know, I achieved something that I've never done before. And it was a lot of fun at the same time. And to be honest, the Cubic Fun sets was a great quality. So I'm really feeling good about this one. I think it's going to be okay. If you've never tried products from Cubic Fun, or if you want to pick up more sets, I'm going to leave their link down below to their store and also a promo code so you can get a discount on your next purchase. You know, I don't feel like I have anything more to say aside from the fact that we just need to open this up and get started because I can't wait to get a little taste of what it's going to feel like to actually walk in this building. So let's get started. All right, let's open this one up. We got some tape on the side here, so let's get that out. Can't find my scissors, so this will have to do. All right, let's see what we got here. Huh, the box opens up a little differently than Neuschwanstein, but that's all right. It'll seal up nicely when we're all done. We have here, looks to be some tape. I guess we'll figure that out when we get to that, right? All right, and here is our booklet, or one of our booklets. This is the assembly booklet here. Yep, there we go. All right, so this looks to be the double-sided adhesive tape. So we got to make sure we don't lose that in the process. But it looks like we're going to be using that right away because that's basically the second page to our setup. And everything just looks to be exactly just the way our first 3D set was. We're just adding double-sided tape to this one. So that'll be interesting. At least we don't have to worry about lighting, right? Which wasn't too hard anyways, but... It'll be nice to just focus on the actual build. That's the instruction booklet. We'll keep that on the side. And the set also includes a National Geographic 
photography booklet. Oh, wow. Check this out, guys. This is beautiful. We got beautiful images of the outside and inside of Notre Dame, as well as Eiffel Tower. Basically, the big landmarks in France. This is a beautiful booklet. That's a nice little touch that they add into this. Wow. Put that on the slide as well. And here you have your puzzle pieces. So let's open this up. All right, so we have our pieces on foam boards, just like before. Everything has a number on the actual piece as well as on the side here. So in case you mix ma mismatch your pieces, you have the number, but that's only for the bigger pieces. The smaller ones don't tend to have them. So just be careful with that and make sure you keep note of the smaller pieces and what their numbers are. So yeah, basically the same setup as before. Oh, and then here we have our, I can't tell if this is stickers or what. They're not really peeling, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? We got to get the puzzle started to finally figure that out. Now, one thing that I have noticed now that I've looked through all these sheets it th is that this particular set does not include the hole puncher like Neuschwanstein did. And I'm sure I still have it in, in the box because you need it to kind of push out these little bits that come out so that you can connect the pieces together. I mean, you could really use anything for that. Maybe a set of tweezers or a bobby pin or something like that. Something thin to just kind of push the pieces out. You could use your nail too or the tip of your finger, but the hole puncher that they provided in the last set was much easier to use. But anyways, we'll get through it. It's not a big deal. This is going to be fun. This may be what you need the double-sided tape for, but we'll see when we get there. All right, we have everything in place. We are all set. Now, let's get started. Now, I'm going to go over a few tips that I kind of came up with during my first 3D puzzle review. One of the most important things I realized while 3D puzzling is that you really have to stay organized. I really wouldn't recommend starting out by punching out every single piece out of all the foam boards. You really should just start on page one in your instruction booklet, punch out exactly what you need from that page, then punch out all the little holes within the pieces, assemble, and then move on to the next page. And I know this may seem pretty obvious, but really, if you scroll through the other pages, it does look like you can kind of complete certain areas whenever you want during the process. But again, it is really important to stay organized. If you have everything punched out, you're going to end up with a pile of garbage on one side. And these kind of puzzles really do produce quite a bit of garbage. And then on the other side, you're going to have all your pieces in a pile. And we're talking about 128 pieces here for this particular set. And remember, most of the smaller pieces are not actually numbered. So you don't want to lose track of anything or even end up with a small piece in the garbage pile by accident. Just follow each page into completion in order and then continue to the next page. Because obviously the sections are all going to end up connecting to each other anyways. But the instructions are laid out in a way so that it is much easier to do. So take it slow and enjoy the process. Well, guess what? I damaged the first piece because I went into beast mode and I got hasty. I was able to repair it with tape, but that was annoying. Now with this set, you have to use the double-sided tape that they provide you. And that is to attach the paper print of the windows onto the actual foam piece. And honestly, this process was a bit challenging and a little frustrating at times. First, you would have to cut up the double-sided tape into little itty bitty pieces at times, place it on the foam board piece, peel the paper side of the tape off the foam board, and then line up the paper print of the windows onto the foam board piece as best as you can. And honestly, it was, it was a bit tedious at times. Now, honestly, I didn't really care for this step in the beginning, but I got more in the hang of it later on as I went through the completion process. You really have to be patient with this step. Now, as I thought earlier, this set did not provide a hole puncher. And of course, I thought I still had my last one, but I must have lost it or threw it out at some point. So I kind of had to improvise and ended up using the end of a safety pin. But if you use something like this, please do make sure it's closed because, you know, you don't want any accidents in the process. But obviously, I'm sure you can come up with a much safer idea than I did. 
like a small paper clip or something. I just pulled whatever I had close by to me at the time. So again, some areas did damage, my fault. But there were some foam board pieces that didn't sit properly or kind of had an issue locking in at times. And if I remember correctly, I think I had this issue mostly with the flying buttresses, which wasn't a huge deal. For the damaged areas, I kind of just added a little tape just to kind of secure it in place. And it still looked good in the end. In a way, I kind of feel like the foam board itself could be a little bit thicker to kind of avoid any damage or bending in the wrong places. You know, for people like me who tend to go into beast mode because they get too excited to start and finish a puzzle. But yeah, but just, just be gentle. Now I know I did mention before that there were some areas that did not sit properly or lock in place, but really it was only like three or four pieces where that occurred. Honestly, 3D puzzles do give a satisfying pop snapping sound as it locks into place. That's when you know when everything just lines up and sets in properly. Just check out this sound real quick. Now that is good stuff. Now overall, this puzzle experience was pretty simple, and I think mainly that was because it was my second time completing a 3D puzzle. Aside from having to work with the double-sided tape, it really was a much smoother, easier process in terms of folding and bending the actual foam pieces compared to my first 3D puzzle. And in regards to the double-sided tape, I see why they kind of use the paper print of the windows because it does kind of give it a little more dimension when you look at it. And that extra process is pretty much an extra challenge or step that this set gives you instead of just having to pop holes and pieces out of the foam board the whole time. It gives you some variety. It's something else to do. You don't have the LEDs in this one, so it's kind of like an extra step to kind of spice up the whole process and the experience. Now the print on the foam board and the paper print of the windows is very clear and it's excellent. Especially the paper print of the windows, it really gives you that pop of color for the stained glass. And overall, in regards to the actual foam board pieces, you can really see the details in the structure. It looks great. This 3D puzzle took me about three and a half hours to complete. And I actually did this in one sitting, which was a huge first for me. And I feel like the most time consuming thing was the cutting and pasting of the double sided tape and the windows, because I, I wanted to make sure that the windows lined up almost perfectly, but you don't have to go that crazy with it. But anyways, I feel like if you're new to 3D puzzling and you're searching for a quick and easy set, this Notre Dame model from Cubic Fun is a great way to kickstart your 3D puzzling journey. The assembly is pretty straightforward, and although I feel like the foam board could be a little thicker, the overall quality is really good. Just don't be a beast folding the pieces so that you don't damage them like me. Just take your time and enjoy the process. Well, now it's finally time for me to enter this beautiful medieval work of art and take it all in while sipping some coffee. In my dreams, of course. This really is a great representation of Notre Dame, and Cubic Fun really took the time to make sure they produced an accurate model of this great structure that resides in the busy old streets of Paris. Hmm, as I admire this, it really does make me look forward to visiting this piece of history one day. It'll happen, and when it does, I'll share a picture with you all. Anyways guys, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and want to follow me on my next puzzle adventure. Hopefully I can inspire you to try different types of puzzles and brands and even try out a few different tips and tricks for your completion process. Well, I hope all is going well with you and I will see you in the next one.